Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 2 under introduction to IoT dealing with network reachability. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Come let's go into the video. So you can see different kinds of network reachability mentioned here. This is nothing but these are the types of networks where each kind of these network has its own reachability. So personal area network called as PAN, local area network called as LAN, wide area network called as WAN and metropolitan area networks called as MAN. So these are the types of networks available and it, it has its own reachability. Now what is PAN? As I said personal area network, it names name itself tell that it is an used for individual usage. Say suppose only one person can use that network throughout their workspace, game space, whatever it is. It is restricted only for one individual. So you can give many examples for that. Wireless headphones, only one can use. Two cannot share that uh, headphones. Wireless speakers, laptops, smartphones. Smartphones can be used only by one where apps and each and everything will be restricted for only one usage. Mouse and printers, when connected to one system, it can be used only to the particular system. So this, these are the kind of examples of PAN. So this PAN is a wireless network. We know that it is wireless network, but what is the range of that wireless network? It gives only a low range network. It is not used for a large geographical area, low range and hence it is low power technologies. Like uh, for Bluetooth, it can be used which consumes only very low power. And how the reachability will be? The reachability lies on how the range of the pan depends whether it is for few centimeter or few meters so this is what personal area network is next is local area network local area network all will be aware of of this right so this is nothing but it is a collection of hosts which is linked only to one single network there will be n number of nodes connected in a network but it will be connected to a one particular server it can be either connected through wired or wireless connection. And this LAN, what happens is it is restricted only to a small geographical area. Say suppose a small campus or small organization or a single building. Then LAN can be used. And the host or much more in number, not only it has specified number of hosts, the, the host is of n number. And the actual direct lines to the internet has the access to the web within the organization. That is, it has n number of hosts. All these n number of hosts can access a web which is connected only to one organization or one building. And the data access rate within this lands will be from 100 Mbps to 1000 Mbps. So, the range, the data can access data can be accessed will be of this range 100 to 1000 mbps okay and also it has high tolerant high tolerant levels fault tolerant levels and commonly this lan is commonly used in like servers hubs routers switches computers these are the components that can be used in lan next is metropolitan area network so metropolitan is nothing but it uses large geographical area but it will work on only where the access is required. See if there is a large geographical area as mentioned in this picture it will access only particular things within a geographical area. So the reachability of this metropolitan area networks will be between your local area network and wide area network might be it is a, a node between a LAN and a WAN. So this MAN what it does is it connects various organization and various building but it it has its own limit within some geographical location it keeps connecting the buildings or organization for the access of data. So one 
example of metropolitan area network is nothing but internet service providers that is the one which acts as a satellite it provides the internet connectivity to various organization within its limit of limit of range of location so this is actually costly man to set up a, a metropolitan area network it is costly and they will not be owned by an individual it cannot be owned by an individual like how pans are owned by an individual this man cannot be owned by an individual but it can be owned by an organization okay so and it uses modems and cables to connect each network area i mean each node so this uh, metropolitan area network it tends to have a moderate fault tolerant levels like lan it doesn't have high fault tolerant le uh, levels it has moderate tolerant levels next is wide area network so wide area network as the name specifies you can easily say that the connectivity and the range of wan is much larger when compared to lan it it gives a diverse geographical location to access the data so but there also you have restriction like within the boundaries of state or country you can use and the data rate of wan so when the boundaries are within the state or country the date how the data rate will be for wan is in order of fraction of lan's data rate fraction within fraction the datas will be transferred so this wan can be connected by two lans or two mans we 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 told right lan is of small geographical area but man is within a some location it keeps detecting so these two connected together can form a wide area network right so due to this long transmission ranges this wan will have more errors and noise obviously when there is a large area of transmission there will be um, uh, lots of uh, errors that is happening because of noise right external disturbances so you have more errors when you use wide area network and how the fault tolerance will be in wan it is actually very low when compared to wan and man the fault tolerance is low in wide area network because there are more errors and noise right and finally after all these networks to connect all these network there is a architectural model that is followed that you can say it as layered network models so this layered network model is of two kinds one is iso osi that is international organization of standardization reference model and internet protocol so so these are the two models which can design a complete network to transfer data from one layer to the other layer so you will be seeing more detail about how this network model is developed how the architecture of network model will be in the next video so so please stay tuned for this next lecture video thank you